I'm cyborg. Are you following me? No, I'm tracking you. Also, I got you this. Blueberry pie. My favorite. I know. That's creepy. I know. <laughs> but in a romantic way. Does this mean we're... I'd like that. If any of the other Titans found out. If any of the Hive found out. Then we'll just have to... Keep it a secret. He will not leave you alone, will he? No. Ever since Cyborg's computer matched us, he's convinced we're meant to be together. And you are not? Of course not. I want someone who thinks and acts like me. Hey, Raven. Hey, Starfire. Look, I know what you're doing, and it's not gonna work. Oh, come on! Just give me a chance, please. Pretty please with scary things on top. Look, I painted my fingernails black for you, Raven. No, let me make myself clear. I want nothing to do with you, ever. I think I want to make this thing work. You mean it? <laughs> Raven. <laughs> but will you marry me? This is beautiful. I guess Beast Boy and I were meant to be together. I've never been so happy. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold the bacon! There was a tiny, teensy, teensy, weensy little glitch in my matchmaking program. You mean I might not be Beast Boy's ideal match? Only one way to find out. Looks like Beast Boy's ideal match is... The scratching post. A scratching post. Hey, computers never lie. How could I have been so blind? Ugh. The cries of terror have stopped. And maybe Cyborg's handshake war is over. Handshakes are friendly. I don't care who you are. Hey, I'm friendly. Good news. The war has concluded, and only three quarters of the planet were destroyed. That's great. I'm so happy for you, Starfire. As is the custom on Tamaran, I brokered a truce by offering my hand in marriage to the general. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you have to shake his hand? Why, I ask you, Cyborg, why? I can't help it. I'm just a friendly guy. I like putting people at ease. <laughs> that should have been me. I really, really hate this planet. How can anyone as nice and perfect as Starfire come from here? Ew, look. Now she has to kiss all those mouths. And she never kissed you on your one mouth. Bummer. We're gonna be here a while. Was the ceremony not beautiful? Now 
please enjoy the rest of your stay on Tamaran. I must go. Where? As the General's wife, I must travel with his fleet in order to attend to his mouths as he conquers the universe. You will never see me again. What? You can't go with him. <gasps> I know our customs seem strange, but it is important to honor them. Goodbye forever, friends! This is not cool! If Starfire is going to be forced to marry anyone, it's going to be me! Titans, let's know this marriage. What? We had a date. I never said yes. Yet here you are. Uh, you're standing right on that turtle's eyeball. He'll be fine. They're very resilient. Seriously, you're always standing on sea creatures. You don't need to be nervous. I'm not nervous. You just don't know what you're getting into with me. I have a dark side. I heard. Can I show you something? Ew, back it up. Relax. Oh, thanks. So, what did you want to show me? This. So what? I'm supposed to fall for you because you show me some dancing fish? Oh, look, they're so adorable. It's like a musical is about to break out. It's so romantic, I have to kiss your face. Uh... Just wait. Intense. Circle of life, baby. I thought you'd like it. I can't believe this, but for the first time, I feel like someone gets me. You should wear your hood down more often. Thanks. Well, I better, uh, yeah. What? Lay off my girl is what? Raven wants someone who can match her intensity. I can be intense. Intensity! I need a nap! Uh, just, just lay off my girl, okay? Your evil glare, you're bad for me, girl. But I just don't care. But I just don't care. Jinx, jinx, jinx. Jinx. I thought you said you didn't love Jinx. I don't. You were just singing about how much you love Jinx. No, oh, no, that's just a song, man. You are reading way too much into the lyrics. Uh huh. I am watching you, cyborg. I am watching. Dark. These last few days have been amazing. I know, Sai. I just don't know how much longer we can keep this up. Not much longer at all. So it's true. You're dating. No. We're battling over this ice cream cone. I'll never let you get it, strawberry goodness. The cone is mine. Go oh, the pain. Do I look like I was born yesterday? Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Cyborg, you are hereby forbidden from ever seeing Jinx again. That goes for you too, Jinx. Whatever this is, it's over. <laughs> Don't 
Don't sweat it, Star. You just got too deep in the classic TV lineup, that's all. Regardless, I still yearn to communicate more clearly. And another game of spin the bottle is in order. Whoa, what's up with your face, Robin? I, uh, <clears throat> fell under the cactus. Fortunately, my lips broke my fall. Star, kissing all these people isn't working. It's better to be yourself and be misunderstood than change yourself just to fit in. That is the crazy talk, friend Raven. I must keep doing the kisses until I find the one who will grant me the clearness of speech. That was off the chain. Oh, dang, that's redonkulous. Oh, dang! What's happening to her? This isn't good. With every new voice and personality that Starfire takes on, a little bit of her own personality disappears. If this goes on much longer, we'll lose the Starfire we know and love forever! We can't let that happen! Titans, go! <laughs> Me, Star. And not just because the cactus and I have gotten pretty serious. Dark. Yep, gonna drive out to the desert this weekend to meet her folks. <clears throat> I can't kiss you because we all like you the way you are. It's okay if we don't understand each other sometimes. It's a normal part of any relationship. Please, please, don't change who you are. We love you. Howdy! 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 Oh, thank you for reminding me. It is all the Bill of Rights to be one's, twos, and threes self. Glad you're back, Star. Say goodbye, Titans! What do we have here? Death laser. So that's what you're up to. She taught you her secrets. could be so powerful. Yes, they have the power to destroy or enchant.